passive businesses are one of the most consistent ways to make money with minimal effort. In this video, we'll be covering over on what I think is the best passive business in GTA Online, the Acid Lab. Now, the Acid Lab can generate quite a bit of money when set up properly, and unlike any other business, it is solo friendly with sale missions that don't require multiple vehicles and don't take too long to complete. With that being said, let's talk about how to unlock the Acid Lab. We have to do around six missions in order to unlock this business, with the first one starting at this location right here. Just look for the R. Once this first mission is done, the rest of the missions can be found at this location here, which will be later known as the Freak Shop. Keep doing these missions until you come across the one that has you steal a 6x6 brocade. I believe this particular one is called Off the Rails. Shortly after this mission, you'll get a follow-up task to steal and deliver some chemicals from nearby labs. Kind of looks like this mission here. Once you've accomplished this, you'll have to talk to Mutt in the freak shop and pay a $750,000 startup fee in order to finally unlock the acid lab. It's pricey, but the cost is well worth the investment, I assure you. Once you have access, you can talk to Mutt to customize the truck and the delivery bike. I would recommend upgrading the bike's speed and handling because you'll be required to use this for all your delivery missions. You'll also notice that there's an option to upgrade the lab equipment. In order to unlock this upgrade, you'll need to complete 10 DAX Fooligan missions. You can access these missions by calling DAX on your phone and requesting work. Most of these missions aren't too bad and reward you with a cool $50,000 on completion. However, there is a 48 minute uh, cooldown on these missions, so you'll have to wait it out in between each one. You can check the cooldown by calling Dax on the phone again. Once you complete these 10 missions, you'll finally be able to upgrade the equipment for a cost of $250,000. Yeah, it's pretty pricey, but it's totally worth it and you'll make the money back in no time, so don't worry too much about the cost. I also want to emphasize that this upgrade is essential in making the Acid Lab worth doing. If you don't have this upgrade, I really wouldn't bother with the lab, so wait until you have this upgrade before proceeding. What the upgrade does is it essentially increases product value while also reducing the amount of time required for it to process. It also reduces the amount of total supplies needed to fill up the bar. We'll be covering the results of this upgrade later on in the video. Okay, now that the prerequisites are out of the way, here's how to actually generate money with the Acid Lab. Like any other passive business in GTA, you have a supply bar and a product bar. There are two ways to get supplies. You can initiate supply missions in this corner over here, or you can talk to Mutt and buy the supplies outright. A full batch of supplies will cost about $60,000. You'll notice here that mine is lower because I already have some supplies in tow. I don't really recommend doing the supply missions as they are time consuming and don't even fill up the whole supply bar. However, buying your supplies from Mutt fills up the entire bar completely. I also want to mention that you can call him on your phone to refill supplies while you're away, so you don't necessarily have to be there to get your supplies. The lab will passively generate product as long as the supply bar isn't empty and contains some amount of supplies. No action is required for this to happen. You can do missions, heists, or anything else, and the lab will still generate product in the background. However, it will only do this if you're online. If you're offline, everything will be put on pause and will resume once you come back on. Another thing you'll find inside the lab is something called an acid production boost. This is a boost that you can do every 24 hours that will double the speed of your production while it's active. The boost will last for about 45 minutes real time, and you can tell this boost is active by the flashing blue product bar seen here. Another trick to get the most out of your lab is to change the product name. You can do this by opening the interaction menu, go to service vehicles, acid lab, scroll down to product name and change it to anything different. Doing this will net you about a 5% gain on your total product value which is a pretty nice bonus for not really doing much. 
Once that product bar is filled, you can initiate delivery missions in this corner of the lab over here. You can do this at any time, but as I said earlier, I would only recommend doing it on a full product bar. Now that you're ready to sell your product, let's talk about delivery missions. Unlike the other passive businesses, the Acid Labs delivery missions are solo friendly and take approximately 10 minutes to complete. They're generally not too annoying, and the only stipulation is you have to use the bike that comes with the brocade. One thing I want to note is to always do your delivery missions in public lobbies. You want to do this because you get a high demand bonus for doing so. This bonus basically nets you a 2.5% extra bonus money per person up to a maximum of 50%, which is quite significant if I do say so myself. I generally don't get griefed by other players while doing this, but if you want to be extra safe, you can always activate Ghost Org to hide yourself for about 3 minutes. It's located under your CEO abilities in the interaction menu and costs about 12k to activate. If you don't think that's enough time for you, you can also call Lester to go off the radar for an additional minute. So how much do you get for jumping through all these hoops? Well, here's the breakdown. With the Acid Lab upgrade, the value for a full product bar shoots up to $335,200. With a 5% bonus for switching the product name, it comes up to $351,840. And if you go ahead and sell this product in a full lobby for a maximum high demand bonus, you get a whopping total of $527,760. Now let's calculate the costs. With the upgrade, it only takes about 1.6 full bars of supplies to fill up the product bar. So if you're buying your supplies, which you should be, it'll cost you around $96,600. So assuming you have the upgrade and all the bonuses, your final take home of subtracting the cost from our sale would be $431,940 for supplies that'll only take three hours to fill. That's pretty damn good for a passive business in my book. So there you have it. That's Acid Lab in a nutshell. It's considered one of the best passive businesses. It's solo friendly with quick sale missions. You get a heavy armored truck that comes with a cool bike. And as you can see, once you get the ball rolling, it's easy money. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you on the flip side.